one it's Avalon and I just received two parcels in the post so I'm super excited because I have no idea what's inside them and uh, I can't wait cool let's get into it so in here there is a ornamental yam which is a die uh, I want to say it's a Dioscoria discolor but I probably pronounced that so incorrectly so I'll put I'll just put it on the on the screen let's reveal mm -hmm, really well packaged as you can see so here she is she's so beautiful it's so hard to tell how velvety and beautiful these leaves are they're a little bit um crinkled just because of the heat but that's completely fine they should come back and there are, there's also some tiny new growth as well of another little leaf but it's just such a beautiful, this is not an Aroid actually, wow, one of my first non-Aroid purchases, but it's got really beautiful underside of the leaf as well, and I'll either pot her up today or I'll just keep her in sphagnum moss, but just let her adjust to the weather here because this has come from Queensland, but in general I'm just so happy with this plant, it's absolutely beautiful. This box on the other hand is kind of a complete surprise to me, I know one thing that's in here, but other than that... I don't know anything, so let's just keep going. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Uh, I don't know where to start. Okay. Um, oh gosh, I don't even know what that is. Oh, oh, okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Daniel, why are you so amazing? Okay. What are we... I'm trying to read this through the camera and it's not working. Remove the bag because there's an oxalis oh i've been wanting an oxalis for a while also not an aroid so i'm really yeah out of my comfort zone but a little um i've always wanted an oxalis triangularis um what's it called i can't even think of the thing the tuba that they put in the ground so that's the first thing as you can see obviously there are loads of other exciting things that i'm looking at right now oh my god oh my gosh, there's a leaf. We've had a leaf casualty. I don't know what that is, but she she pretty. She beautiful. Um, so, oh gosh. Let's just um, pull this out. I don't know what this is. Seems to be a little, little stressed, but that's okay. I want to say it's a pothos. I want to say it's just a neon pothos, but honestly, I'm not sure. So I'm going to have to ask about an ID for that one. Um, as you can see, it just keeps going. So... That's just some nice packaging, cool. Keeps it nice and safe. Obviously, we're all looking at the Milano, let's face it. That's all we're kind of focusing on right now, but that's coming last. I'm gonna make you wait. Um, oh God. Oh, what a beauty. This is a begonia of some sort. Just checking the backs of the leaves to determine. Probably a begonia. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, one of the angel wing varieties. I'm so bad at identifying non aroids Oh my god. Oh my god. It keeps going. Stop. Oh, there's a VHEI somewhere. Oh! Oh, wow, there are two things. So that's a little Milano, an absolute beauty. And then this is a Syngonium of some sort. I don't know what type, but I want to say it's the Mojito variety, but it's utterly stunning. Oh, look at, look at the little baby. Such a cute little baby. I'm in love, as you can see. And then, can you see that tag? I can see that tag. I don't know where she is. She's in here. Oh, she's coming out of there. I think that's a new leaf. I'm actually not sure. Oh, no. Was it this? I hope it wasn't that. Um, let me, let me, um, let me deal with this and then I'll show you. As you can see, this is like the world's most healthiest root system. It's absolutely stunning. I feel like that top was where that little leaf came from, which is kind of sad. So it's kind of died on us, but obviously it'll come back and something else will grow. So that's wonderful. But look how incredibly healthy this plant is. Look how, look at those, those, look at those chunky roots, the sphagnum, those, that thick orchid bark. Ooh, she is a pretty one. She may have no leaf, but I still love her. She's an anthurium and she will remain an anthurium to me now that joke is just me keeping her alive. But I think I can do that. It's so beautiful. And if we just look at these beauties. So this is a trade I'm doing with a horticulturalist down in Melbourne. And essentially I traded him these plants because he's downsizing, but also because he wanted an embroidery. So we've done an embroidery slash plant 
trade. If you guys ever have anything on my wish list, um, but I don't have anything on yours or I don't have anything to do, etc. Um, I'm always happy to trade embroideries for plants because plants are amazing. And just look at this. This is like, look, <sighs> what a beauty. Oh my god, okay, so I thought this was just an oxalis tuber, but look, it's putting out a little leaf! Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? Oh, it's so tiny, my little baby. Hey guys, it's me from the future, but basically I just wanted to give you an update of all those plants that I received. Some of them have been going really well, others not so well, but I'll show you. So this is the Dioscoria, the ornamental yam that I showed you. Unfortunately, those two main leaves shriveled, one's already dead. But it's put out so much new growth, it's got all these new leaves, so I'm not very worried about it. I think it'll be fine. I also picked up this one, which was another um, dis discolor. I've totally forgotten the first name of this plant, but I'll put it in as always. Um, this guy's a really, really beautiful one as well, so I'm hoping he grows really fast because the backing of the leaves is just such an amazing color. You can remember, obviously you will because you just saw it, but it was a tiny tiny little leaf and now it's grown it's got the beautiful veining and the, that purple butterfly look which is wonderful and yeah i'm really hoping that another uh another leaf comes out if not i'd love to get a few more bulbs just because it's just such a beautiful plant and if we come in here whew. there's a lot of stuff going on here as you can see but i'm just going to show you uh what daniel sent me because the rest of it I'll do later, but there's the Anthurium vici. Um, the leaf fell off as you knew, but I'm pretty confident that a, like a new one will grow. I've got some sphagnum moss to keep the moisture up, but that one's going really well. And if we pan past all these beauties, obviously my most beautiful prized possession, my Gloriosum. Also my Milano Chrysum stunner, not good doing that well, but we'll just ignore that fact. I've got my Syngonium. You can see that I've got my Syngonium in here. It's it, yes, it is looking a bit yellow, but I have hope. I have faith that it'll come back. My Milano Chrysum is going so well. I've got, currently got my Milano in a recycled uh, clip clip bag, and it's been going really well. It's all just in sphagnum moss, but it's been putting out so many new aerial roots. So I'm hoping that it'll go fine. I've got. I've got lots of new additions, as you can see. I've probably bought way too many things. Um, but I think that's, I feel like that was it. But um, yeah, this is actually my new greenhouse. It's super exciting, it's really beautiful. And I will do a proper video on it, but just to show you something. Here are all my seedlings. So I've got so many seedlings now. I collected, I amassed quite a few, um, kind of in between the last time I did a seedlings update. I've got some in soil, which I'm testing out, and then just a variety and some different um, propagation tubs and containers. So that's really exciting. Can't wait for them to grow so I can trade them for other plants. Um, yeah. But that's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I hope to see you in the next video.